Hey, how's it going, everybody? Jeff Shackley here, drum instructor with Freeway Music. And today we're going to be looking at a fun fill, uh, a couple of different variations on it. This fill is one that's uh, been used multiple times by the utterly amazing Dennis Chambers. We've talked about Dennis before uh, when we did the cool three over four halftime shuffle feel. Well, now we're going to talk about him again because he's completely completely and totally amazing. And we're going to steal one of his fill ideas. So let's start off with the good news. The basis of this fill is actually super, super simple. Okay. We have quarter notes on the bass drum. So you're straight four on the floor and we've got triplets on our hands, just straight up alternating triplets and you accent the downbeats. So the basis of our fill sounds something like this. Easy, right? Totally easy. You've got that. So here comes the fun part. Now, let's start with the maybe slightly more subdued version. Really, the big thing about this fill is it, it just kind of depends on where you place your accents. And that's the big thing. Where you place your accents can really affect the overall sound of this fill. So the first one... Now, typically he does this between three different toms. If you only have two different toms, it can still work, and I'll show you how. But for the first triplet, so starting with your right hand, you're going to play right hand on tom two, then left right over on the snare. Then for the second triplet, you're going to play left hand on tom one, and the rest of the triplet, your right left over on tom three. Then for the next one, you play your right hand, you cross over and play the snare drum on your uh, downbeat and the rest of the triplet over on the floor tom, tom three. And for the last beat of the fill. You play your accent, your left hand on tom one and the rest of the triplet on your snare drum. So walking through that very slowly, beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, So I'm going to play that slowly and start speeding it up. Okay, and remember, we're going to have quarter notes on the bass drum the whole time. So, there you go, variation one. And one more time, just so you can hear it nice and slow. Let me play that really slow for you so you can pick it all apart, okay?
So there's variation number one for that fill. That's all based on the times. Now, the slightly more bombastic version of that, exact same concept, exact same feel, except now instead of hitting rack toms, we're going to move these rack toms here to symbols. Okay. So you can use, I have two crashes. You might only have a crash and a ride. Well, guess what? You can use a crash and a ride. You might only have a ride and a hi-hat. Well, guess what? You can use a ride and a hi-hat. It can be moved around. You can orchestrate it any way that you want to, uh, per se, as far as which symbols you're using. Uh, but the big thing is start using symbols. Let it crash more. So you're going to have the same general idea. It's just that instead of Tom 1, or sorry, Tom 2 here, you're going to hit crash 2. Snare, snare. Crash 1 instead of Tom 1. Floor, floor. Snare, floor, floor. Crash one, snare, snare. Okay? So, let's play through this nice and slow. And slowly start speeding it up. That one is fun. I like playing that. I like playing that a lot. I actually, I've stolen Dennis's lick and I use it all the time. Um, like I mentioned, you can play that on different cymbals if you want to do, if you just have a ride and a hi-hat, for example. Or when I was talking, if you only have, uh, you know, one crash or just one rack tom, for example, you just put all the Tom 2, Crash 2 stuff, you just double it up on Tom 1. So if I'm playing the Tom exercise, for example... And I could do the same thing with one Crash. Alright? So you can have fun with it. You can move it around. That's typically how I've seen Dennis do it and that's how I end up doing it a lot but remember all of these things are cool in and of themselves and I think it's important to learn it the way that you're taught it but then take it and make it your own do your own thing with it so that was your lesson for the week uh, I've told you before and I'll tell you again if you haven't looked up Dennis Chambers please for the love of all that is good and holy look up Dennis Chambers because he is amazing but uh, just remember until next time have fun, stay safe, practice with the metronome, and we'll see you guys next week. Later, everybody.